dishes. Where's Naomi up here? I told you to start. How can I open a meeting? It's your job. The meeting has now started. Oh, there you go. All right. So, anyhow, welcome everybody. Thanks for thanks for coming out. And uh, I want you to know that uh, how hard we worked to get the air conditioning working today here. For Ray and the class sweltered through the 90 degree temperature. For it's probably 98 in this room uh, today while we're struggling with the uh, AC unit up there. So fortunately, uh, we got it together for tonight. So. Um, I just came across this today, and you know, one of these kind of technology things that are here just to distract us and, and destroy our, any productivity we have in our lives. But this is a, a series of pictures I took uh, in July of 2007 when I bought this property. So this was the dive shop. Um, it was a meat market. Uh, it looked good back then, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Little picture upper. <laughs> so he had a, on this side here of the front. Uh, he had a um, a store, uh, you know, with regular meat cases and whatnot. You go in and buy cuts of meat and whatnot. And then this store here opened to his commercial side, which was most of the building here. Uh, they had a you know, the slaughtering operation and a packaging and everything. So here on, on this gate on the side, with these two buildings aren't connected, um, this gate uh, was a open to a yard, uh, had a loading ramp for you to back up with your cattle or your pigs or whatever you were hungry for and uh, unload them. And actually in the wetsuit room and in the compressor room was overnight accommodations um, in case you arrived late in the day with your animal. Um, that they could stay here for a couple of days until it was time to meet, to meet their maker. And this is the house of the fellow who built the meat shop. This was his house originally, and he built the, this building like in the 60s and uh, predated zoning and created all sorts of problems for us here. Um, but uh, they were here, like a nice old couple, and I let them live here for about a year while they were looking for a retirement place, and they finally found one and worked out just perfectly with us coming in here. So no classroom, no connection. This room didn't exist. So this this is where the classroom is. That's a tree that's outside the door, right? So the whole thing got added on, added on there. And then this is uh, this is the service area. So that open area that I mentioned is outside this wall. This was an exterior wall, and they where the hoses are displayed was a little doorway, and they would bring the animals in here. Um, standing right here, and uh, that was either last time on earth when they took that, <laughs> pulled it, that bolt through their head. And this, uh, this sloping concrete block a wall was for the animal to fall against, and then there was an overhead crane system that went right from here, right through the service area, and ran through the shop. So they hoist them up and you know, shot them into everything else here. That's what we use the hydros for now. Yes. <laughs> Little history there. <laughs> so, so anyhow, so we that, that's a that was a, a monument to the strength of uh, concrete construction. There, I can assure you of that that was one mother to take out of here. So this was the outside area here for the uh, for the animals to uh, come visit. Currently, our fill station and some parts of the attic. The uh, fire extinguisher, this, this, this building was sprinklered, and I have a couple of them over in the house. Um, these are old style sprinklers, and it's a glass bowl, a glass uh, container that hangs upside down that's got uh, liquid in it uh, with, mixed with water, and it, at the end of it, it looks like a test tube, and if, it, if you get a fire and it gets too hot, the end of that breaks off, and it's sprays out about a quart of water. So if you had a fire that was like this big, a candle's out of control, this would be a great thing. If you got a fire, get it out. So, anyhow, so just a little uh, trip down memory lane here from, uh, from me to you. Um, so tonight we have uh, a lot of cool stuff happening. So if you are avid readers of our newsletter, you know that. Um, we have uh, the Renards who came back uh, recently while well, they were just with us in Bonaire, but they also were recently in uh, Belize. 
So uh, they're going to talk about Belize. That's been on our radar list for a long time. So this will probably put us over the edge and make us make us make that happen here. Um, and then uh, and then we have uh, uh, Michelle Gensini, who's here, and uh, he recently uh, completed some. He's uh, he's a very avid technical diver, and he, He's done some training with us here and recently completed a, uh, a fairly monumental dive uh, in the Blue Hole in Dahab, which is where we will be on October 5th or 6th or so. So uh, if you join us on the Egypt trip, here's your chance. So with that said, what's going on out there? So for all of our professionals who haven't gotten a notice yet here because I am the poster child for stuff falling behind on my desk and emails going unread. Um, we have switched our insurance uh, to Dan from our company last year. And if you did not get an invite yet, send me an email. I will get you an invite it's, uh, to complete just a little form there. You're covered because you're part of our staff. But there's a specific forum, and they want to make sure that you, you don't basically don't have any uh, outstanding litigation. So it's just a very simple uh, forum. So email me. I'll read it. Um, the Dutch status, right? The local diving scene and the Dutch lake status here. So today or yesterday or some just a few days ago, um, Dutch evidently had their final uh, closing there. So uh, Stu Scully is set for the rest of his life there. Uh, with about $16 million for his little pond. And, uh, and the status of Dutch is, who knows? So just uh, nothing has changed. And it's most likely won't open this year. That would be my, my gut here, is that they won't get it figured out. And maybe next year it'll open. But it appears that it's going to be a very controlled state. Um, they have minimal parking spots. The, uh, will not be open to the public. Uh, it'll only, only, be, only be open to insured groups, which really means just instructors taking students for the most part. So it really kills the local diving scene. So in Steps Lake Aquarius, our little venture, and uh, we are uh, in the process of opening that up and developing uh, the lake. It is uh, very near Dutch, so same distance from here. If you've driven to Dutch, it's the same amount of same amount of six dollar a gallon gas to get to our lake now that you used to get to there. So uh, uh, we are actually diving it this Sunday uh, with uh, with Andrew who's leading the crew up there, and uh, we're working on setting up our installing our platforms that we all worked on at the last meeting and. Uh, and, and setting our trailer uh, in place there, and so get to basically to get it open up here. But, uh, so the local checkout scenes, obviously will shortly include Lake Aquarius. Um, we still have the option of going up to Willow Springs uh, if somebody absolutely needs to uh, do a checkout. We were just up there, right? Is, there, is Lake Aquarius already named, or do you get to name it? To the legal document, so once that signed, it's named. <laughs> there you go. It was a pet name that uh, that the owner had, and uh, so you know, we've got enough. We got, we got, got enough. Sixteen million dollars, you can probably buy it from him, and then you can name <laughs> <pay> it. <laughs> yeah. It's more. Yeah. 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 So, so uh, and then of course we have the St. Lawrence Seaway, uh, which is uh, which we've got it. Several trips coming up, the one at the beginning of August, the beginning of September, the beginning of October. So opportunities there. Um, it's a short ride away and uh, one night away from home and a really cool little town to hang out in and enjoy some live music after the diving. So uh, it's a nice little trip. And the uh, checkout conditions there are perfect. And not only do we'll be able to do our checkout dives, we'll also be able to uh, get in a real wreck dive uh, assuming the positive as far as the uh, as far as the uh, tour dives go. So, and then of course we have the Blue Heron Bridge coming up at the end of this month. So that is a awesome opportunity to dive at num America's number one shore diving spot, the Blue Heron Bridge. Um, uh, number two, Lake Aquarius will be open. <laughs> <laughs> the bridge is trembling. 
So, <laughs> anyhow, so there's a fly, the flyers up front. So please consider joining us. It's uh, we've got a beautiful home down there, um, right in uh, Boca Raton, as our base of operations with a pool and a game room and a full kitchen and a what gajillion. Bath, what's it? What is this? Uh, the 23rd to the 30th. So we're gonna what the first part of it, we'll start with the Blue Heron Bridge and then some nice reef dives, and that will be suitable for people doing their checkouts, and then we ramp it up a little bit with lobster hunting, and then a little lobster barbecue, and then wrap it up with shark feeding on the last day. So it's a, it's a it's a really progressive trip and really really cool and suitable for everyone of all levels, of course. And of course we have Egypt coming up in uh, September, right? And uh, Egypt is uh, about, uh, about two thirds filled already. So if those spots are, once we fill it, it's over. Uh, there's only so many beds on the boat. And uh, we've just finalized the Little Cayman, uh, a week in Little Cayman, uh, the 12th to the 19th of October. November, I'm sorry. November. And in December, I believe we're going to be going back to Key Largo. So, Oh. One, one little hurrah back in Key Largo there, and uh, we'll get past the past the high tourist season and uh, be able to afford lodging down there. We'll be sleeping in our rental cars. So, uh, so hopefully, uh, you guys will be joining us on some or all of those wonderful expeditions. So, without further ado, may I turn it over to Jane and Company? <laughs> 